I was talking about uh I lost my train of thought that fast. We was talking about how if you got artificial intelligence, they're gonna obey what you say because you program them things simply with a consciousness to do what you say and to go out and yep. and, and do and do what you gotta do. Because think about it like this, man. If you got a they fleet of robots that are go do what you want them to do at any given time, I don't get I don't care if you tell them all to piss at the same time. They're gonna do that shit. So if if you got a if you got that much influence over that many individuals, uh um, you know, conscious beings, then you don't need nuclear nuclear launch codes. You don't need a nuke. Because the robots you know already know the lunch codes. They they know all this stuff. They don't realize. But, but, but what I'm saying is you don't need a nuke. If you got 500 robots, and these robots are designed, trained to kill its targets. What do you need a what do you need a nuclear what do you need a nuclear launch code for when these robots is hard to kill for one? It takes way more than just a couple of bullets to take a damn robot down. And this robot could probably move a damn truck. You feel what I'm saying? If it really wanted to, it could probably move a damn truck or not uh, uh, pull a damn car door off the damn hinges. And you mean to tell me it can't take a, it can't take out a whole damn army? Five hundred of these robots can't take out a whole army. It'll probably take a couple weeks, but they're gonna get the job done. Why? Because they're conscious beings. They're programmed to get the job done. They're programmed to figure out problems and figure and and, and equations and shit and probability and things like that. So it's gonna be real tough. For a, a human, a human um, army military to defeat a, a, a robotic army is going to be way harder. So you don't need nuclear launch codes. The problem is the first company, the first country to actually have a, 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 a um, robotic army or whatever, they are at danger at getting nuked if they don't have their own nukes. Because because a country that figure out that they got a robotic army. The other country's gonna try to nuke their ass off the play face of the earth because they understand what that means. That mean they just they just producing soldiers. They don't have to dig into their own people, their own civilization. Yeah. Now it's, you see this? This is a patrol officer in Dubai. Now this is just now now if you ask me, they got other ones that, that that's more advanced than this. But that's this, like the Atari. That's like the Atari version of a damn Android. That's like the Atari. They got PS4s out there already, bro. They yeah. got Xbox 5000s out there already, bro. Yeah, but 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 you heard me. These things actually patrol yeah. airports and shit. But you telling me yeah. they don't got advanced. Have y'all ever heard of Top Dog with Boston Dynamics? They were actually working on uh these robotic dog military dogs. Have y'all ever heard of them? Nah. Boy, let me show you them motherfuckers. What? Oh, on a minute. Robotic military dogs. Damn. These things can you can flip them over and all that stuff. Very smart. Now hit now, now here it is. First, I'm gonna give y'all a little video of of th this is when they was in the process of working on it. You know, they, they call it the code name Big Dog, but they actually got one called a cheetah too. And they're trying to use these for for military purposes. I mean, because yeah, you got yeah, the bounty hunting what, and all that. What what else would you want to use something like this for? It has a rechargeable battery. And this thing. And this thing could actually. Hey, I ain't burning down no houses, y'all. My bad, y'all. My bad. My bad. You, all, you all right? You all right? You all right? Can't oh, smoke in he... them hotels, bro. <laughs> yeah. You see that? He kicked no, that motherfucker. Bad. He kicked the hell out of that motherfucker. And what it do? It just leaned to the side. And this thing actually is set to balance itself. Now. Now, that, now mean they that, that mean that that thing, if it, if it hit at the right angle, that chick can kick down a tree. Yeah. Now, 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 if you look at it, it's actually uh, they not actually advanced. This this what is just hell? when when they was working on it. 
Oh, now, I'm gonna show you on another video of what it looks like since 2018, but this is actually when they were in the process of building it. Now, they even got, like I said, they got the cheater. You got to see the cheater, too. This thing can actually run faster than a car. And so you look at all these crazy ass robots and movies, like you say, the Terminator and shit. Who's to say they're not already working on the process, but they only gonna release a little simple shit that you're not really gonna think about, like a fucking little dog. Bro, like have you seen it? This. Have you seen that shit called Mortal Engines coming out? Yes, yes, bro. That shit look like it's gonna be along them lines, bro. Okay. Now, 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 now you see that? So now. I'm going to show you what it looks like today. That's when it was in the process of, of doing it and working on it and all that. But here it is now. They done actually found a way to put an arm on the dog, and it actually controls different now. But that was when they was in the first processes of uh of making it and trying to perfect it. And they done perfected it now, and they about to have uh trying to get licensed with the military and other armies and, and companies to utilize this thing and just imagine they can they, they they don't necessarily have to put an arm on that thing they can put a gun anything on yep. that thing you right about that now 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 let me let y'all see the video look at that now this is what it looks like now y'all see how they look so they find a way to simplify the math the uh the mechanics of it because it's not as bulky as it was That thing opens a fucking door. Just imagine how heavy that door is. Yep. Man, a five-year-old would struggle to open that damn door. Look how that thing walks right inside there. And you can control it. You see how you just pull that motherfucker back? That motherfucker's still trying to go at the door. So just imagine if they was using these things for warfare and attack. You pull damn, that thing back, man. it's still going to be going at its fucking target. You can't tell me that shit ain't alive. That shit looks scary as fuck, bro. Like a fucking person with a damn And I'm not bullshitting you, bro. Like Boston Dynamics, they're working on all kinds of shit, bro. And it's not even that. Let me show you the fucking cheetah. You can't knock them over, too. You make it where you can't knock them over. Mm -hmm. Bro, they make them robotic dogs so that you can't knock them over, bro. Now, what if they had a robotic horse, bro? Now, 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 here's a cheetah. Here's a cheetah, and this is an actual robot that they working on, too. Yeah, that motherfucker moving 14 miles per hour. Yeah. Hold on. Wait. This thing picks up speed. So this 18. thing running on a long yeah, stretch. That thing crazy. And see, they they perfecting shit like this, man, and and it makes you think, what else are they really doing? Right, they doing With everything. Fifty million dollars a day. It, it ain't no limit. You know what I mean? It ain't no limit. So, you know. As a matter of fact, it, you seen that video? Now here, now here's a cheetah in action. Y'all just seen how it looked when they when when they when they was working on it, right? Autonomous yeah. running. So, so now, 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 here it, now, now, here it goes. New algorithms. You see that? They found a way to make it jump. That shit just was running fast as hell. You see, they done changed up the structure of the cheetah because they ain't fully perfected it yet. Well, at least the videos that they're showing haven't been perfected. They wasn't perfected yet. Could possibly be that too. They put the algorithms in the program for the cheetah and they got the cheetah got down moving around that bitch like it's alive. Yeah. Shit. Hey. As a matter of fact, if you want to talk about it, I can I can show you all their prototypes that they running, but the one I just showed you with the dog, the yellow one, they about to start marketing that one. And they've been building on that one for, for, for shit, about four or five years. I first heard about it through, through this Spanish guy named Francois. He was like, you ever heard of this stop, dog? And he was like, nah. He was like, man, the government got contracts with these certain colleges and companies. Because Boston Boston Dynamics, they working with MIT students. So you so you got MIT students working with this company as them they're funded by the government to make these artificial intelligent things, man. Yeah, bro. Why you think they and teach what did they use them for? All you see that? That shit can walk across science. rocks and balance itself. 
That's yep. crazy. Bro, the Terminator is real, bro. That's what I'm telling you. Bro. Look at that. That's 20 pounds. Get it's, it's getting hit with 20 pounds, and it didn't even budge on standing on one leg. Damn. And see, and, and it makes you think if 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 they doing this, what other companies are doing this? Because you know, you know doing way more. man, you you got places in Dubai, like I told you, they they working with Russia and they done made Sophie. So just imagine how they how they looking at this and then seeing what they doing. Man, that shit is crazy. Damn, bro. Because, because it's purposes for these things. They they're not just making them to make them. Look, look, at look, look at it running Jake five miles away, bro. About to deal with, bro. Motherfuckers ain't gonna be able to do shit and, and get away with it no more, bro. These fucking little little dogs got start running after people, bro. Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> why I said, fuck, 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 having a German Shepherd. Goddamn, the the policing in cities would change. You will have shit like this. Not only would the military be using them, but you probably have people in in in, in the police force that want to use them too for their counties. And just imagine, I ain't gonna lie, fuck up communities, and, and basically it'd be just to control and police the community in a different way, but you will brutalize people. I'm telling you, man, that shit ain't right. The sand flea, so that shit, that shit's made to run across sand. Watch it, no, that motherfucker hop up. What the fuck? That motherfucker hopped up like one story. Watch, it's about to hop up another two stories. Look Bull at that shit. shit. Think, what would they want something shit. like that for? To steal information. Oh, steal information, infiltrate, bow, jump back down and leave. And to think, that thing got to be shockproof like a motherfucker, right? Hell yeah. Bounce down and not break apart. It got to be shockproof like a motherfucker. So just think they not, if they not doing that to that dog robot and them other uh, humanoid androids they building. All them Holy shit's gonna be shit. Shockproof. Look. Drop up a fucking rock cliff. What is this called? The sand flea? Yo, this shit yes. Cool, bro. The fucking sand flea. I go to Cheetah again. Now, 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 now look at this motherfucker right here. This thing can turn around and walk backwards or forward. So you wouldn't yeah. know which way it would be coming at you. Cause it's a damn robot. They ain't got no real head. It might yeah. have a central processor, but that shit could be anywhere. It could be in a in a in its so called stomach. You know what I mean? It, it don't even that matter. That shit run like a dog though. Right. Like if you ain't know no better at night, if you ain't know no better, you sweat out as a dog. And that thing will tackle your ass down, bro. That big ass shit hit anybody, bro. You don't lost your knees forever, bro. Right. You can't walk. Okay. Can't get up. So he ain't what need you to think about with that. intelligence, Heen. What you think about it, man? As far right, as the, so advance, the advancements on it and, and just from your perspective. Well, you know, I, I think that it has been advancing, right? Because artificial intelligence to me started when they when they first invented the computer. Period. Even that big ass computer they used to take up a whole, you know, used to be the size of a house, as they used to say. You know, I think that um you know, from from what I see, man, is 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 just a, another form of of control. You know, there's nothing. Every, every time they make something, uh, right, it, it, it always comes back to uh, it always comes back to the 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 purpose that it serves for them. And I and I just think that the purpose that it serves for them is not only control of the people, but you know, uh, control control of of, of knowledge itself you know what i mean because then it eventually it'll be like oh all right well these things have always been here you know what i mean they'll, they'll yeah, start trying to manipulate you know, our for history a fact, they ain't always been there right they're trying to manipulate our history all the time through through shit like this you know what i mean and mm -hmm. if, if a robot becomes your let's not even think about military wise what, what if that robot becomes your teacher oh what if that robot becomes yeah. your uh your farmer you know what I mean? What if, what if that robot becomes your mailman, right? And they could possibly so, have this thing just slung a cedar brick. You seen that? A cedar what, if, but what if that what if that robot becomes your damn airplane pilot? Exactly. Yeah, it could take exactly. you wherever the fuck it want to take you. 
it can you take you into captivity. And, and and believe it or not, I think all these robots with codes and stuff, even though they program and they doing what we tell them, they all got their own little society like that's programmed within all of them, and we don't even know we done programmed all of them. So I guarantee you all of these computers and shit is communicating with each other all the time. And that's yep. and that's and that's the crazy part, right? Because they're they're able to create codes. Like uh, y- y'all know about the dark web, right? Yeah. So so you got the regular internet, you got the dark web. The dark web is, yeah. is something that the government can't really trace, right? Is 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 what is what you see and what you don't see. You know what I mean? In a, in a Decrypted dark web, coding, dark. yeah. Exactly. So if a robot that's born into uh that's born into code already, why wouldn't they already be able to have their own uh form of communication that nobody knows about? There's there's ways uh you know even though we feel like we may have created their language, they can create another one or okay. or change things to the point where we're not able to understand those codes. You know what I mean? I like prime example the uh the, the the little personal assistance you got on your desk what's they called the, the little google things was it oh, not the uh, google home uh the uh, uh the, 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 the the echo little, the, the echo the echo right, and them things. right right and alexa you can, you can, yeah you can have some of them things set up to where you can come in the house and say lights on and this shit cut your lights on yeah. and like and, and i was watching this one video like the person just started talking and then and in the mood like said they all frustrated or some shit and, 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 and the damn robot just started talking or, or popped the TV on right. and just like all that stuff is connected through Wi-Fi so that's their stream of, of language like that's their that's stream of communication besides being wider in and, and Wi-Fi and access gives each computer uh, a certain language and they could communicate through, through a computer language they can generate their own shit and we'll be seeing our computer trying to blank out or something it's really a computer trying to communicate with something else like if your, your shit was being hacked by the fbi or, or some hackers right but you also seen that even during the, the eagles in uh in uh patriot super bowl you know my, my my parents and my brother have an alexa they said when when the game was over when the Eagles won, they started playing "We Are the Champions" immediately, you know. And see, uh, see, that's some wild shit. Like it, like that thing is listening to what you're doing because if you got one of them things, I mean, it it never. It's like it's re- like just recording and recording. It's not saving the data. It's just recording the data. And then as soon as you say something or it thinks you're talking to it, it processes that data and 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 try to make a uh whatever it does, you know. And, yeah, and it's, it's aware of its location. It's aware of its location. Also, you know what I mean? Because if, if how, how did it how did it not how did it know that my parents didn't live in the New England part of the country? You know yeah. what I mean? So you want to play? We are the champions. If, yeah. if I lived in Maine, right? But you, but you know that we're in Philadelphia right now. So that you start playing that we are the champions music because you knew exactly where the people are and who they were rooting for in that room. That's the crazy part. That's the yeah. crazy. That thing got your location. They know your location better than you do. You know what I mean? That, that them GPS systems is, is is hacked into all computers. Man, they they're right? build they're building a fucking Rolls Royce. You ain't even got to drive. Right. You just get in that thing and, and type in your destination or speak to it, and it actually drives you to your destination. And that just goes to to kind of what Tesla trying to do with these self driving cars. You know that that stuff wild, but just think how far does that technology really go? To able to do that, they yeah. they, they, they they baby with you. They baby with you. That's why we see videos like this and stuff like this. You know, they release to the public what they want you to know right. and what they want you to see. But exactly. that big shit, they gonna wait. That big shit, they gonna wait. Right. Just like cell phones was old by the time they came out. Shit. If you think about it, back in the nineties, we had two way pages. That was way before people was even texting and doing all that stuff. Two way pages was texting. You know what I mean? That was way ahead of its time. People didn't even realize how, you know, in the future, well, we didn't realize as, as a society in the future that people will be doing more texting than they are talking, you know? But 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 here it is in the 90s, they, came, they had a whole texting program that people wasn't even 100% on to yet. You know what I mean? And, and it was still cell phone. Remember they, they used to have them real big blocky, uh, you know, Stone Age cell phones back then. They look like walkie-talkies. 
you know what I mean? So, but they didn't even have text messaging. But here it is. We had a whole, a whole texting, uh, I guess, device. Let's just call it a device. You know what I mean? That was ahead of its time. But how, how long was they doing that already? How long was they sending messages across small devices, small handheld devices before we even got it? Yeah. You know, I always see videos of people who are here about videos of people who are, who are, uh, you know, oh, they, they left the, the prototype to the new cell phone or the new, what, what was them things called? I think it was the uh, the Apple glasses or whatever. Nah, oh, I remember they had. Oh, the Google glasses, yeah. Exactly. When them Google glasses had first came out, I think somebody had, like, left one at a bar or something like that. But I don't be thinking that's a coincidence. I don't think, who would, who would leave, you know, things like that that that's so new, just prototyped and all that, just leave it at a bar? I don't, you know, I, I rarely leave things like that sitting around, especially if it's something that, the public not supposed to have just yet, you know. So, is I think I, I just think that this is all a bunch of bullshit. You know, what I mean, you gotta be yeah. careful with all yeah. these things, man. So, that's so trigger, really so trigger. Too. Fifty years yeah. from now, where where do you see the advancement of technology and and how the world is now? How you think it'd be then? I believe in fifty years, for one. Um. The status of how well our our medical industry has really been shitting on people, I think it's gonna come out. And what I mean by that is they're gonna come out of nowhere and be able to tell you that they can cure all these ailments that, that they say they can't cure now. They're gonna come out the middle of nowhere and tell you that um you're gonna have to be basically do all of these things to be able to be uh completely healthy you know what i'm saying like where you can't get sick and shit they're gonna say you need a microchip you need um you need to take a shot every morning or some shit like that they got you people supposed taking to, shots uh, right now they ain't supposed to be taking it <laughs> yeah hell yeah i believe in 50 years they're gonna basically try to stop humans from being affected by nature the ailments of nature basically further separating people from nature um people are basically their bodies going to be adapted to more they're going to be uh, their bodies are going to be uh craving chemicals rather than nutrients from the from, from earth and, and, and i and i feel you on that because i in the future a lot of people ain't even gonna know what the fuck nature is you know i mean yeah, because bro, they already, they, they, they're stuff. already building skyscrapers like like i don't know if y'all seen it like they got that new rock movie coming out called skyscraper but they actually are doing this and they're putting it in the movies what they're doing but they're putting it in plain sight you know you wouldn't know it's there if if, if you didn't look up on it like they're actually building skyscrapers where they're trying to build whole cities they could fit a million people in right? they would not have to leave out of that skyscraper or that building they're building shit that massive even in so China, you're, to, you're telling me they're gonna have food, supermarkets, gas station, not even gas station, they're gonna have um um they're gonna have sewer sewage systems, they're gonna have water filtration systems, air conditioning units, air filtration systems. Yes. They're they're working on shit like building. that. Yes, they're working on shit like that too. See, I tell you, they, they throwing all this shit at us, man. They they're already doing this shit in Dubai. China in certain places, you know, China actually got a whole indoor, um, it's a whole indoor beach, like the whole fucking building is a fucking beach on the inside. That's a mall. That's it's like you walk in there, you think you don't walk what? into a totally city. I you know saw I mean? one of those. It was actually, it was actually, yeah, I saw one of those. It was actually, it's actually in an indoor, um, old ass airplane hangar or a big, big ass airplane. It's an old ass airplane hangar. They turned into a, um, like a beach resort and shit. It was pretty neat how they did that shit too. And even they got uh, a big uh, ass pool in there. Now, now, did you know? Uh, speaking about massive ass things, Germany. Uh, if Hitler would have would have won the war, right? He was gonna build this massive ass stadium hall, and, and this hall would be so massive. It would be able to fit uh i think like close to like two million people somewhere around the eight hundred thousand people it could fit like we wouldn't know what the fuck to do they said when you get inside there the dome from the people and the moisture of the people yelling and all that stuff would produce its own weather system yep 
But that's see, true. that's true though. That's true though, because the it's just like that. The bigger you put that fish in the fish tank, the bigger the fish get. So just think if you put in more people in a closed in area and making that thing more massive, it's gonna produce its own unpredictable weather, depending on the moisture people are giving off at that time of day or whenever. Yeah. Basically their own weather system. And they doing shit like that. So just think if they build skyscrapers like that, like just just like they don't know, but I call it the nature of things that will happen inside that building. People will go crazy. There's gonna be so much better. disease. It'll oh, be so yeah, much bro. sickness in there. You know what I mean? People will start dying. Yep. yep. That, right. that might be the, the true beginning of a zombie era. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because and that zombie shit, I think, man, there's some truth to that shit, man. Like, like, yeah. man, they, they, you you can have a person be so sick and out of it to where they just want to fight and go at you, like like somebody on angel dust or something you know what i mean yeah. that, that's that's yep. a, that's a zombie state because you're not conscious with, with with the things you're doing right now you're out of it. your mind is somewhere else you know right and they said some people sometimes when they get sick they be out of their mind and go crazy that, that, man, that. that's a zombie state that's a zombie state man but i think that's what they're working on with the drugs like see i don't think all these drugs that's out here now when they first got discovered that they were so lethal as they are now i think they've been they've been created and tried to be perfected and they would turn lethal you know as a turn as a um as a um on purpose i think they was actually made to be lethal on purpose they actually experiment with this shit and i think the drugs are just gonna turn people into zombies if anything. drugs and um and uh meat products and shit like that well we see that I can. the different if you look at the different chemical compounds that they use to even uh get rid of the so-called bacteria and all these things a lot of the stuff be like different components for jet fuel and things like that you know what i mean even when you got companies like uh monsanto right My, y'all know about monsanto right yeah yeah the, 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 the way monsanto the, monsanto the, the freaking food poisoning right. people yeah they, they're the ones who who uh, they handle uh, a large amount of the seeds they get distributed in this country, you know, and what they yeah, do they monopolizing is the seeds. Right, right. So when 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 they do uh, what they do is that now they, they don't no longer really have to spray the fields anymore, right? They are genetically modifying Pollinate the seeds. The seeds. Yep. Right. That way they ain't got to do that. So, so so we will go back to so a facility a certain instead of a, a they instead also of an indoor that, facility. Yeah, yeah they seeds. did that so that the seeds won't, won't have to wait for the seasons to change for them to uh, grow again. So, so they're basically so, trying to grow certain types of fruits ahead, and vegetables all year round so they don't have to wait exactly. for uh, the right time of the year. So if you got an indoor place like that, right? If you got indoor places like yep. that where where civilization ain't really got to go outside, Monsanto's king. You know what I'm saying? They king because you ain't got to go nowhere. All all your food can be produced right here, right here, right in front of your face. Yep. It's crazy. That's true shit. It's crazy. They got it on lock. They this, like I said before, these plans have already been plan well planned out. You know what I mean? They already knew exactly what they was going to do. Before they did it, it just they just had to get, they just had to get to the technology to begin with, you know. That's true. That's true, bro. I really believe that too, man. You know, um, nothing, nothing is new under the sun. They say that shit all the time, bro. Right. You know, but that shit is more than true, man. That shit is things volume. Right. And it's crazy to call these things conspiracy. When they come out and say it out loud, it ain't like, uh, you know, we just made this stuff up ourselves. You know what I mean? These are things that the government has come out and say, hey, we're doing this. Isn't this great? You know what I mean? And then when you go out and you be like, yo, y'all hear they doing this? You be like, yep. people be like, man, yeah, that's that's some conspiracy. You be like, but they just said it on the news just now. You know, it can't be a conspiracy if people are coming out outright and saying it to your face. You know what I mean? It's, it's no longer a conspiracy at that yep. point. 
They letting you know, yo, we about to mess you up. You know what I mean? We we about to tear y'all up. Y'all ready? That's what. They, that's basically how they present it. Y'all ready? <laughs> yep. Whether you say hell no or not, they yeah. don't care. They do not care. It's just real. Hell yeah, bro. Shit is wild, man. Cause it's like, damn. Once you add all the, everything up and you and you piece everything together, man, you look at shit from that perspective. It's like, what the fuck is they really trying to do? What the fuck is really going on? They trying to plant. Hey, okay, grow seeds all year round, so they don't have to wait for certain parts of the year uh, for tomatoes to grow or or whatever. So they they have tomatoes all year round or oranges all year round and shit. What I'm trying. to figure out how the idea come and play where they had to actually put harmful fucking chemicals on the shit. When did that come about? That's that what I need to know. Because, you know, a lot of this shit that they talk about with food industry, they say they have to do this. They have to do that. I believe it's all bullshit. I believe, I believe it's all bullshit when they say shit like, uh, if According to the population, basically, we're gonna need we're gonna need to have this many this many amounts of this and this many amount of this, and we can only grow this amount at this time. I think that's foolish. That's some bullshit. And they just they're basically acting like that so that they can they, that can make them room to be doing the shit they're doing right now. That can give them room to do the shit under a, under a false under a false preset. You know I'm saying like they got an excuse the, now. The beginning of it started. With, with countries that had to have markets, right? Now, I'm not exactly 100% up on how India and, and, and countries that's uh, more so in, in the Middle East. Now, I know Asia, Asia, they, they, they plants and stuff can grow in, in high abundance all year long and definitely in certain parts of uh, Asia. But as far as like Europe, and in some Middle East countries where they don't have a lot of green land, right? Because all the places that we're from is, is a high amount of green land, you know? So in the places where there's not, they had markets, right? They had controlled food markets, right? People who sell certain things, certain parts of the year, yada, 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 right? And a lot of yep. places like Africa and America where fruits and vegetables can grow pretty much all year long, maybe not every single fruit and vegetable, but a lot of times, you know, for the most part, it can, right? So, yeah. if uh, if that's the case, you know, then when 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 a, a conqueror or a colonizer or whatever you want to call a person who starts to rule a land that isn't theirs, once uh, you know, once once they come in, they want to control it, right? Because it's like, yo, y'all y'all sitting here just eating as much as y'all want. You know what I mean? Drinking as much as y'all want. We, we need to control the water, right? Why? It doesn't make sense yep. for us to, to live here in this country with all these rivers and lakes and things, but we're sitting here paying for water. Why Why are you paying for something that comes naturally, right? The, the, the people, the water companies companies don't provide you with water. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You why. I got a creek that runs by, by my house. Why, why would I have to pay for something that runs in the creek alongside of my house? Because they fucking it up chemicals and all of this shit and they try to clean it up to give it to you so they're charging you to clean it up because they got to build the shit to clean it up exactly well but mm -hmm. but now now they got the now they got the water so fucked up though uh well they got the, the people so fucked up that because there's so much prescription pills with big pharma and shit now now in our regular water even our so-called clean water is fucked up Cause when they test the water, the natural water, they 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 come and find all these different hormones and things like that inside the water. Because as we piss and shit, it's going into our water supplies. You know hey, what I'm saying? Hey, so hey, so when they, know, what what else is crazy? How mm -hmm. I'm I'm gonna say like uh, lower class communities, as far as the black community, and, and just trailer parks and all that. They put them places in the places in like industrial places, like around a factory a mill, a nuclear plant, like a couple miles away from it, knowing all them places disperse and disperse all kind of stuff that's toxic 
and unsanitary for people and even build parks close by and in, in, in the low income communities and and, right. and, 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 and and just to think about it in that aspect is crazy because it, it wouldn't be going on if we were staying on the other side of town you ain't got none of that shit going on over there but you got all these factories factories and everything junkyards and everything but but, but it's but it's not just the air pollution and the earth pollution there's also noise pollution because if you think about it, poor people live around airports. My, my, myself, yeah. I live, I live yeah. near the airport of Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? And we have noise pollution. And There's constantly true. airplanes going across. It makes your heart race to hear these loud, loud, loud sounds constantly. You, you had no state of peace. You know what I mean? You kind of gotta find the peace somewhere. Sometimes the planes are so are so uh, the, the the jet engines are so big and they're so low that it makes the glass in my house shake. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's yeah. outrageous. But but they know exactly what they're doing. You know what I mean? When when they put us in these type of areas, why you can't afford but so much? Well, yeah, poor and, people, and, white, and black, Asian, thing, no matter what you is. And another thing, it, I, don't, I don't know if y'all heard this, but they say it's something in the air and like our communities because because you got pollution, gas, smoke, and all that other stuff going on and flowing through our communities. You know, you they, they, you don't think it's like doing something to the to, and chemicals infiltrating our brain and head and stuff, making us act the way we act. Hell yeah, them chem trip, bro. Uh, you know, this is something I'm gonna start doing on my channel regularly now. You know, I'm, I'm gonna start posting it up. You know, but the the chemtrails in this area, man, they start early in the morning. Sometimes I'm I'm outside at six o'clock in the morning. You know, and I get a chance to see the beginning of the chemtrails for that day. The motherfuckers. Damn. By the time it's, it's the afternoon, it just looks like it's a film of fog. You can't even tell. <laughs> That you know what color the sky is because it looks ashy. You know what I mean? The blue is it's got a slight, a real light gray across gray it. I know what a I know what a clear sky looks like. And that and, and it's not because we have a cloudy day or a partly cloudy day. It's a chemtrail day. You know what I mean? It's, it's a it's a straight up fog day. And, and and I've seen videos of people testing the soil and the water in the area, and they're finding so many different chemicals, aluminum. And that's you just know what really aluminum does to the brain? Yeah. Now now you remember a couple years back. When all them uh, mosquitoes was getting real bad, the Zika virus, and they actually sprayed all them parasites and stuff. Like if they was to go over a farm, they sprayed Bro, them over city not, blocks. Not to, cut you, not, not to cut you off, a, a truck, a truck <coughs> literally drives down the center of my street and sprays a fog out the back of the truck. Oh, down the shit. down the down down the center of my block. It doesn't it doesn't even hit what? the fucking grass. They go they go down the center of my street. And they just spray it down the street. I make my kid come in every time. I'm like, yo, let's go in the house for a while. We need we need to wait, uh, uh, you know, at least a couple of hours before we can go back outside because they just sprayed uh, a harmful chemical. I used to work for an exterminator company. I, you know, I, I know a lot of the components that's inside of these inside of these sprays, man. And they will get you sick and or de death. You know what I mean? And they, but they don't care. They spray it down the middle and they say that it's, it's legal and all that other shit. I, you know, I had I contacted the city. They say, you know, this is. And they in their legal rights to do so. <coughs> you know what? That's some fuck on that damn show, American Horror Story. They put that shit on that show for a reason. Hollywood always coming out with some. Truth. I never knew that shit. I never knew that shit was going on. Yo, I, I never knew that shit was going on. Thing. I'm about. To, I was popping up the video.